Good evening and welcome to our YouTube channel. The Grammy Awards are just around the corner and this morning the Record Academy revealed the nominees for the 2025 ceremony taking place in Los Angeles on February 2nd. Among the leading contenders is none other than, the, other than Beyonce, who has once again cemented her place in Grammy history with a total of 11 nominee, nominations this year. She has now reached to 99 career nominations, the most of any artist in Grammy history. But despite her monumental career, there is one elusive award Beyonce has yet to capture, the prestigious album of the year Grammy. Tonight, we'll take a close look at some of the biggest names up for the recognition this year and we'll ask will Beyonce finally take home uh, that top honor or will another artist take the stage? Let's start by looking at the nominees in the most unexpected categories. The nominations for album of the year Andre Thousand for New Blue Sun, Beyonce for Cowboy Cutter, Billy Eli Elisha for Hit Me Hard and Soft, Chapel, Chapel Ron for The Rise and Fall of a Midwest Prince, Charlie XCX, The Brat, Jacobo Carrier for DJs, Volume 4, Sabrina Carpenter for Short and, and Sweet, Taylor Shift, Taylor Shift for the tortured poets department this year's album race features a mix of establishment legends and rising stars music critics from uh, publications and longtime observe observer of the grammy scene um are here and uh, this is what they have to say and this is none as than leslie uh, stahel now beyonce's cowboy cutter is one once again up for the album of the year but she's ha she's had 99 nominations and no win in this category yet what do you think is keeping her uh, from claiming the top prize this is what said it is a great question beyonce's music has evolved so much over the years she's a, tra a trailer bla blazer in pop and r b and cowboy cutter is yet another artistic achievement however the album of the years of the year category often favors albums with widespread critical acclaim across genres for beyonce the issue may be that her artistry is so complex and gender blending that the voters might overtook, overlook her work in favor of albums that are, are perceived as more universally accessible. That is a fantastic point. Now let's turn to some of the other artists who are making waves in this year's nominations. Billy Elisha has seven nominees, including for Record of the Year and Song of the Year. How do you think her album will stack up against the comp the competition again this expert is saying billy elisha has proven herself as a powerful force in the music industry hit me hard and soft is deeply personal but it is also one of the most innovative albums of the year she's always experimenting with sound and thank and that kind of in, in, in artistry resonates with the academy her seven nominations are a testament to her continued growth as an artist. It is clear this year's field is very competitive, but now let's take a look at the nominees for Record of the Year, another highly, another highly coveted Grammy. We have the Beatles for now and then, Beyonce for Texas Hold Them, Billy Elisha for Birds of a Feather, Chapel Ron for A Good Luck Bubble, Charlie XCX for 360, um, Kendrick Lama 
for not like us sabrina carpenter for espresso and taylor shift featuring post Malone for tonight as we can see record of the year includes not only some of the most influential names in music but also some of the fresh faces the beatles are nominated for the first time since their breakup making now a then and then an, esp an especially sentimental uh contender when you see the beatles on this list it is like stepping back in time now and then is an emotional piece that people didn't expect to hear after decades of silence from the fab four it is major moment for music history certainly a surprise now song of the year which focuses more on songwriting is also a full of familiar names we have shabozi for a bad song tipsy billy elisha for birds of a feather lady gaga and bruno mars for die with a smile taylor swift for fortnight is featuring post Maron. chapel ron for good luck baby um kedrick lama Oh, for not like us sabrina campbell for please 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 beyonce for texas hold them it is no surprise that heavyweights like taylor swift and bell elisha are up for the song of the year but also in the mix is chapel run an emerging star whose work is gaining significant attention but it is not just the major stars grabbing attention this year best new artist nominees including benson born dekel krageben and ray artist who are redefining genres and and creating waves in the industry the best new artist category is always a high a highlight of the grammys and is this year uh, the nominees are Benson Bourne, Sabrin Carpenter, Donchan, Kruger Ben, Ray, Chabel Ron, Shabozi, Teddy Swims. Each of these artists has something unique to offer and it's excitement, exciting to see how the category will shape the future of music. As we approach uh, February's um, ceremony there is no question that the competition will be fierce but no matter who walks away with the awards this year's nominations prove that music continues to evolve in exciting ways from beyonce's domination domina, domination to emerging voices like chapel the 2025 glammy will certainly be one of one to remember that is all for tonight. We'll be following the Citroly, the story closely as the Jama, the Grammys get closer. For now, um, let me sign out, thanking you for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell for more updates on Grammys 2024.